Hi everyone, it's Lillian here from Stamper's Niche coming to you from Alberta, Canada and so glad you could join me tonight. I'm trying to make Monday evenings at 7 o'clock a regular occurrence and you might say well, how did I come upon that time? Well, I talked over with my husband and Monday night football is, is, uh, is the Monday night thing for him so it's a good time for me to come live and I know it's better for many of you who are working than if I came during the day. So if I do a second video during the week, I will do it likely in the morning, um, another day. Uh, but f I'm going to try to be consistent with Monday nights. So that's where you can find me, Monday nights here. And hi Tara, so glad you're, you're watching. So let's... Um, just wait, just, I see some hearts. Oh, yay, I love that. Um, just while I'm going to switch you down to my desktop, I have a question for you. How did you spend your day? Now, it's getting closer to Christmas, and this year with uh, just being by ourselves at Christmas, I thought, do I do Christmas baking or do I not? And today I decided to do some, so it was butter tart day. Uh, butter tarts because uh, they're an important thing for my husband and since it's him and I so butter tarts it was and Kelly I see you're on and Roz excellent and Kelly I've made her recipe for some I can never say it nougat candy um, and that's a big hit in our house as well so thank you let's go down to the desktop now okay um, let's go right down and here we go and I'll just get my computer set up if I remember how to do it yeah there we go hurrah so we're all good Marilyn's here too so just a couple of things um, Oh, Marilyn loves butter tarts. Yes, um, that's it's, that's the dangerous part of making them is that I eat them. Um, oh, Karen, you too. Yeah. Well, uh, what what are what are your have to make things at Christmas time? Butter tarts are a have to thing in our house. We can skip most things, but not the butter tarts. So. Um, <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm reading your comments and being distracted because it's making me laugh. Um, so I had better concentrate here. Um, Ra it, it, so you're making cookies while the little ones napped. Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Yes. Uh, looking after the grandkids is a pretty neat thing. So just a couple of things uh, to before we get started here. Um First off, if you live locally, I did not mail these two catalogs to you. These, this is the new upcoming mini catalog, January to June, and the celebration catalog. So if you live locally and you don't have another demonstrator and you would like these, they're free, just come, just let me know you're coming and I will put them in my basket by the front door for a front door pickup and they're, you're welcome to have them. They are chuck Full of wonderful things as you know stamping up just outdoes themselves every catalog and um, this one will not disappoint all right I'm just still reading your comments and I'm laughing because you guys are all onto the food yes uh, I can totally understand the food oh <laughs> making me hungry actually all right i'll put this to the side but do come pick this up if you are uh, wanting some secondly i am doing a paper share i didn't do it for the last uh catalog and many of you asked about it so i have this as an insert in the mini catalog it will also be in the um newsletter tomorrow so the tuesday newsletter so how it works is with these designer papers that are it's there are a few specialty papers that are not here but i've listed the ones that are included and if you're in the paper share or choose to partake you would get one quarter of whatever is in that package so for example some of these packages have 12 in a sheets in a package so one quarter you would have um 
the one quarter of that, but some have 48 because it's like six by six paper or something. So it's different amounts of paper. You will get one quarter of whatever is in the package. And for front door pickup, it's $45. If you need it mailed, to, uh, that includes shipping and handling and GST. If you need it mailed to you, um, I will let you know the extra cost there. But I do need you to have the order to me by uh, January 4th and payment by e-transfer, cash or check, then that reserves your paper share. So I won't order your paper share until the payment comes in is basically what that is saying. So, and last but not least, if you are still doing some last minute Christmas shopping, or maybe a spouse is still doing some last minute Christmas shopping, or a mother, or a father, or a daughter, or a son, or whoever, I do have uh, gift cards and I will if they're if you live locally I can package that up for you but if you're somebody who says I can't come to your door especially in these times um, I can do a, an email one too so uh, let me know uh, and the nice thing about this is if whoever you give it to gets to shop in the new year unless they choose to use it between Christmas and New Year's and celebration starts in the new year, so you get a little more bang for your buck, so to speak. You, If they spend $60, they get a free celebration item. So um, just something to be aware of that gift cards are available, all right? Now, I see Barb's watching too. Hi, Barb, welcome. So I just love seeing all you people popping on. So create with me how this works is I have sent out the measurements and you can either watch along or create with me uh, as we go along if you've got it already cut. And tonight it's if you need a still need a Christmas card, then I hope you chose Christmas types of things to work with. If you're like me and have been concentrating on Christmas cards and maybe neglected birthday or sympathy or uh, wedding or anniversary, I hope you pulled out things that would be appropriate for that. So tonight I'm working on a birthday card. I've got to get a whole bunch ready for the mail. So the first piece of paper is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half and six and a half. So they're kind of funny measurements, but you will see in afterwards how that works. So if I put it at five and a half and score it and then pull out my arm of the paper trimmer and then six and a half. Ooh, and don't do what I just did and cut it. I will get another piece of paper. Little warning there. Uh, don't do that. Use the scoring tool. So let me just grab another piece. Cut it at four and a quarter, so it's half a sheet the long way. And then let's take that cutting tool right out of the way and put it back at five and a half and six and a half. Have any of you ever done that, gone to score and you've actually cut? Hi, Diana. What did I just do here? Oh yeah, it's there. I just couldn't see it very well. All right, so we'll take that out of the way. And then I needed contrasting cardstock and two different sizes. And this is looking very springy, I, springy, I know. Um, I just was craving some new colors and I wanted to try some colors I haven't used in a while. So my contrasting is Bumblebee. And the larger one is three and three quarters by four. And then I have one that's three by three and a quarter. All right. Now the Whisper White. And this looks like a lot of pieces, but when I start to put it together, you're going to say, oh, that's so easy. So one is at four and a quarter by four. And one is at three and three quarters by four two and three quarters by three and this is the one we'll be doing quite a bit of the stamping on then there's this little piece that's three quarters by four and then you needed a piece for some scraps all right so let's start with doing our folding so we're going to fold at the five and a half mark so it's our halfway fold that's pretty normal 
So let's burnish that fold there. And now that other one we're going to fold back on. So this looks a bit like a book. Now Marilyn showed, I've done this oh, several years ago, and Marilyn showed this at Stamping Staycation. And then we just did this again at a meeting with some demonstrators on Saturday. And I thought, I've just got to show it to you. So when you're looking at the front, it's going to open like a book. All right, so then we can put that to the side and let's bring in the largest piece of bumblebee. And we'll bring in the piece of whisper white, three and three quarters by four, no, just a second. I have to look at my sample here. That one goes there. I misdid the this. So this should not be three and three quarters by four. This one should be three and a half by three and three quarters. So I obviously, here I thought, three and a half by three and three quarters. Thought I was being so organized. I got this ready last night. And obviously I should have had a nap instead. Three and three quarters by three and a half. Let's see if that's going to work. There we go. So they should layer on like that. Aha, bingo. So just a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. And I can put my adhesive on that and just stick those two together. So sorry for the misleading measurements there. Or maybe I got them right when I typed them for you. I have no idea. So that is actually just going to layer on this piece that opens up. All right? So, and I'm not even going to use dimensionals. I know I love my dimensionals, but I'm going to stick it right down because the next layer is going to have dimensionals. So we still want it to be able to fit in the mail, right? So we've got it just like that. All right, now let's put that to the side. This piece here is going to go inside, but I want to save it because I want to stamp on it before I, I fasten it in. So let's put that to the side and that to the side and bring in the piece that I said we were going to do our stamping on. So let's um, bring that in. And I also want to bring in my piece for scraps because I'm going to do um, a flower first off. I'm going to use the Floral Essence. This is a stamp set that was kind of neglected. Um, I got it when I took a course and then I thought, I haven't used that in forever and I want to use it. So I'm going to use this stamp for the flower because it has a coordinating punch. So that's how I, the reflection might be kind of bad there, but it's got the coordinating punch. And if you saw my little um, penguin chocolate bar wrapper um, on Saturday that I posted, this is what I use for the penguin's nose and feet was, was, was this. So let's bring that in. And we've got this here and we're going to bring in terracotta tile ink and I want three of these so one and when it's photopolymer I like to give it a minute for the ink to transfer two three I've taught my grandkids to count for doing to do when they're doing their stamping with photopolymer and the, the littlest one, the five-year-old, she is very faithful about counting to three and then doing a few more. It's so funny to watch. So now I'm going to punch these out. One. Two. Three. And I'm going to build this flower. And the reason I'm building it before I do anything else on here is I want to be able to figure out um, a placement of the other stamps by knowing how big the flower is. So we've got that. 
I'm just curling the leaves a little bit to add dimension. And again, like I've said before, it's better to be a little bit gentle and do it a couple of times than to be too assertive. Um, where is my pen? Here it is. I'm just going to flip this over. Oh, you can see something else was stamped on the back of that. And just do a little burnishing in the center. It just causes it, again, a little bit of dimension. It's a little trick. You just need something that's smooth. Even a crochet hook uh, will work there, um, as long as it's smooth, not bumpy. So let's fasten those together, and we're going to use our glue dots. And I'm just going to offset them like that. And like that. There, we've got our flower built. So now we can use it for placement. So we're bringing this in and we're going to, okay, so I want it to be a birthday. And I thought, well, itty bitty birthdays will have a nice small saying. This one has great sayings in it. Um, so this would have worked, but I wanted it specifically to be birthday related. So, um, I think, do I want so exciting or happy day and then I can do birthday inside? Hmm, so exciting or happy day. Can you tell me which words I should use and I will work on the leaves. Which one would you, if you were getting a birthday card, would you want so exciting or happy day? And I'll do this because it always takes a while for your comments to pop up. And this I'm stamping in Granny Apple Green. I love these leaves. They're just so pretty. And then they'll just, yeah, I wonder, might even put an extra set in here. There. That's okay. Don't mind that at all. Uh, so exciting. Happy day. Okay, Tara was first with happy day, so we will go with her, but Lynn, I see you're so exciting too, and I like that as well. So uh, we will go with happy day. Where are you, happy day? There you are. And we'll bring in the stamp. And I'm going to bring in the ink. So as you can see, it doesn't matter really, does it? And actually, this could be used for other occasions, but it definitely could go for a birthday. So I'm going to get try to get my paper straight, got my placement, all right. So now I'm looking through the camera. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I got it straight even, whew. All right, now I'm going to put this on a dimensional. I just buried my dimensionals under the stamps. There we go. So this design works so well for almost anything, any occasion. I'm going to fasten this down before I do anything more. So let's just make sure I've got them cut properly. Yes, I do. Yabba dabba do. There we go. And I'm going to put that on there, like that. And then this is going to go on dimensionals to go on the front of the card. There we go. I like to put one in the middle to give a little support. Although I, that one almost got in the middle by just being in a hurry, which I shouldn't have done. That's all right. Oh, do it right side up, Lillian. That would be good. There we go. So let's do that. Now, you know, what you could do is just angle it a little bit too. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go this way, but for the right card, it would look cute angled too. And then you wouldn't have to be worrying about getting straight. It's often why I do that. Now you're saying, well, Lillian, you've got this piece and this piece. So this piece here is going to go on the inside. So just to, um, to give a little coordination, I can stamp my happy birthday later, but I think I would like to do 
I am just deciding here. I think I'm going to do a few leaves on the inside. There we go. Yeah, maybe about there. There. And let's fasten that in. And then we'll just have the one little piece left. And then I'll show you some other variations that I've made with this. And I was mentioning that Marilyn did this in Stamping Staycation. Oh, I forgot one step. Aha, those of you who do, did this, you know that. I needed to put glue right here. This is my night for being a little distracted or something. Don't make butter tarts before you're going to teach a class. I guess that's my lesson, right? All right, uh, there. Now that's glued down. And stamping staycation, yes, there's one coming in January. We're getting all excited and planned for it. So watch here or watch your newsletter. We'll be making announcements about it shortly. So now all that is left is this piece here. And I bet you can guess where it's going to go. It's going to go right here. And we can decorate this a little bit if we'd like. And I haven't got this planned out, so let's see what I'm going to come up with. Um, I think I'm going to use the flower and run the terracotta tile color down there. You could do whatever you wanted, that's for sure. And in the stamp set, you've even got some of the little flower centers and leaves which you could use. But we'll stick with the stamps that we've already got inky. And I'm just going to catch a little bit here and there. Let's see. I really am making this up as I go along, so we'll see how this goes. And that's maybe a little bit more here. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. We'll stop there. And then we're going to glue that down so we can take this out of the way. And glue that down here. Like that. And now the center needs a little bit of attention, I think. So what I thought we would do is I brought in the Frosted and Clear Epoxy Droplets. And those of you who watch me, you know that I like to keep my embellishments in a, a stamp case. And last night while I was getting ready, I took, um, ooh, there's an extra one. I took my Daffodil Delight, Daffodil Delight? I think that's what I've got here. Yeah, my Dark Daffodil Delight blends. So those of you who aren't familiar, these are alcohol-based markers. They uh, will color on most anything. And so I added one layer of color here, and I'm going to just add a second layer. So it's still going to have the sparkle. I'm using the brush end. I often color with the bullet end. So, But the brush end is great for doing this kind of thing or coloring in big spaces. And where's my take your pick tool? I like to use that. We can just... Put that in there like that and now what you can do is dress it up however you want you could add more sparkles you could add ribbon so I thought maybe we'd do that just to to show you now I could have added the ribbon by tucking it inside or wrapping it around here but I'm going to wrap it around the whole thing and you can tie a knot or a bow, whatever you like to do. How many of you don't mind tying a bow? I know that a lot of my ladies prefer a knot if they're doing it themselves. So, oh, there we go. Got my fingers twisted. Normally I can tie a knot a little better than that. There we go. And we'll use our ribbon scissors just to do a snip. Like that. And there, just like that, you have a card. And it opens like that. So it's just a little bit different. Now, 
I said I would show you some others, and I'm hoping that when you, um, when you make yours, that you will share them too. Because we made this with a group of demonstrators on uh, Saturday, and everybody was making it along, and we all showed everybody's was totally different depending what they were wanting, and so it was really neat to see. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this one here. And I used designer paper here instead of stamping that. And I used some twine and I actually embossed this white layer. And then this layer here, I cut an eighth of an inch smaller, but I know that a lot of you don't like working with those eighths. So I've stuck with the quarter inches here. Um, but it's, so it's just in a bit like that. So this you're saying, but Lillian, I've not seen that stamp I, or that paper, that, that, sneak peek folks sneak peek of something that's coming in the uh, upcoming catalog and these are some special little sneak peeks here too so keep your eyes peeled um, and I made one more card and this is the one I made Saturday when the group of us were were working and I used again a sneak peek so this is another stamp set that's coming on here I added the ribbon but I did like tonight I stamped on here and um, so this is Rococo Rose and Smoky Slate I think it is nor is it gray granite might be gray granite um, so those are three variations they look great as Christmas cards or whatever the occasion is so um, I hope that you have some fun with this it's a really easy to do card um, so, and you can make it as fancy or as simple as you want, and the it it just it just works. I just love how it opens. So, thank you, Marilyn, for first of all uh, uh, reminding us about this one, and then um, Karen Duke led us all in making it again on Saturday. So just a reminder before I close up here, um, isn't the dry, oh, I'm reading your comments now. Uh, you know me, I am going to be distracted. The dragonfly, yes, isn't it pretty? And then I put some Winka Stella on it. So it's coming, Tara, it's coming. Oh, I'm glad you like this one, Karen. Uh, you just might be getting one. Um, just saying, and I don't know if you can see the um, embossing folder there. It's a gorgeous new embossing folder that's coming. So there we go. There's the cards. Just a reminder that if you are still wanting to do any shopping, there's still the sale on. Some things are gone, but you can go onto my uh, website and check there. If you do shop online, um, this is the current hostess code. And if you need a catalog, one of those new fancy, wonderful catalogs, and I see some of you from local watching, please let me know that you'll be by and I'll put it out with your name on it. So thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Happy baking, crafting, wrapping, whatever is, is on your agenda for the next few days. Take care. Bye-bye.